if anybody ever asks, what does Aloha look like? I always say, it looks like Kindy. You get to know Kindy, and he is just the embodiment of what Aloha means. And with his stories, he just pulls people in and wraps you around. And he always says, you know, if you're going to tell a story or if you're going to sing a song, filter it through your heart first. Kindy's from. He's an amazing Hawaiian man that um, has the ability to embrace anyone that happens to come across his path in a very loving and fun and um, kind way. He was like the kapuna of Kohala. There are seven major valleys in Kohala. There's Polulu Valley, Honokana Nui, and Honokana Iki. And he grew up in the third valley, two hours by mule train to get in there. No running water, no electricity, no conveniences that we have today. Boy, talk about sustainability. They did things in a way that we're only relearning about now. He said, you know, we were dirt poor, but I felt we had everything. First thing, uh, uh, I want to say, my AI kako, come and eat. And they fed you, they gave you water to drink, or whatever, ava, or whatever there was to drink. They gave you, they shared it before. And if they had only one, one slice of bread, they gave it to, to you. He began telling me about his, his mother, and his mother played this banjo and used to sing to him all the time, used to sing songs. And Kindy became this repository, and this is what really hooked me into Kindy. Hawaiians is it they never met a total stranger. <laughs> you may have the greatest intentions to take this film in a certain way, but very often the film will say, nah, we're gonna go that way. The smartest thing I ever learned was to get out of the way. To get out of the way and listen and just let it happen. Just the excitement and the honor that to know that there is someone in our community and someone of our heritage and our lineage that can be so honored by many in the world is such a nice thing to know. Um, and he sets forth such a good example for all of us to um, establish how we choose to walk in life. You know, growing up in the Third Valley and hearing all the stories about what they had to do to survive and live and so on, uh, to me, that was all about sustainability and how people did things naturally. But there was another theme that kept coming to the fore. Growing up in the plantation era, with all of the multi-ethnic friends that he had, there were Japanese and Chinese and Filipino and Samoan and Tongans and Russians and whatever. This was the Rainbow Coalition, you know, kids didn't know any different. And he grew up believing that we are all one ohana, and we are all alike, and we're all, we should treat everybody that way. And I began to think that this is possibly why he had that expansive heart that he had, and this feeling of aloha, that this should be a sub-theme to this movie, that we are all one ohana. And you know, we're all facing somewhat troubled times, and I think it would be good to have as a reminder that we are all in this together and that we need to stick, stick together and work through these problems, you know, as one ohana. We've named this um, film Kindy Sprout, A Gift to the Heart. <laughs>